Hello again and welcome back. So in this lecture you're gonna learn how to create video ads. Now we've already learned how to create a single image ad, we've looked some at carousel ads and we know that adding a video it's not really that special. However, there are some pretty clear best practices whenever we're doing video ads. That is using the format video for pretty much any of our ads. So we're gonna go through some of those best practices and of course understand how the video editing tools work. Let's dive in. So why video ads? Well, first of all, more and more of the internet is going towards video, right? It's estimated that in just a couple of years, about 90% of all the content online is going to be video based. I don't know if that is true, but the trend is certainly pointing towards that being true, right? So learning and understanding how to use video ads is going to be mandatory. Now, one of the great news is that Whenever we're creating ads, and we're gonna do this together, so follow along here with me. Whenever we're creating ads, we can choose pretty much any campaign objective. It doesn't matter because most of them are going to be okay with you creating video ads, right? So what we're gonna do here is that we're just gonna use the same old campaign that we have before because there's nothing new under the sun here. Now, of course, you could optimize towards video views if that is something that you're looking to get more of. That is something you can do, but we are going to look at how to use video specifically to use pretty much any type of ad, right? So we're not gonna pay much attention to the objective. And so we're gonna use an existing campaign, just like that, go to traffic, and then we're gonna use an existing ad set, just like that, and then we're gonna create a new ad because that is where we're gonna start playing around with the video format, right? So here we are again, we've been here before. Now, what we're gonna do, just like we've done before, we're gonna uh, select single image, or video, right? We are at create ad. Then we're gonna scroll down to the ad creative and then add media. Now there are two ways to approach video ads. Number one is to actually upload a video which makes sense, right? And then you can edit it as much as you want. Number two is to use images to create your videos. So Facebook recognizes that video ads are becoming really almost mandatory to at least know how to do at this point. So they've created some templates for us that we can use images so that they can turn them into videos. They're very handy, we're gonna go through both. First of all, let's look at how it works when we're adding a video. So I'm gonna click on add media and then add video, right? And then I'm gonna click from account videos, I'm going to go to, here we go, page videos. So in order to get a little bit more options, I'm using Robin and Jesper now rather than R&J deals, right? Because that's the new one that we created. So from here, I'm gonna, I could use anything. We've done more videos than this, but let's use Exploring Success. Now Exploring Success is one of the many websites and con business concepts that we have used. So I'm gonna use that one, which was all about people sharing their stories, right? And then we read them out loud. Got quite a following, it was a very exciting project to use. So now here's the thing, once we've added our video, we can edit this video and there are some best practices that we want to know about. Number one, the thing that you wanna know about when it comes to video is that most people do not uh, watch your videos with the sound, all right? They just don't care, they're gonna scroll through and they're not gonna have auto uh, the auto sound on. So meaning that most people are going to miss the content of your video unless you're using subtitles. Let me show you how that works. So since I'm into yoga, right, I'm, I'm getting this ad and the ad looks like this. So it's a pretty clever ad, but as you can see, it has captions down here. And these captions are known as open captions. Now open captions it means that I cannot remove those captions. They're built into the video. Closed captions would mean that I could click here, for example, and, and turn the captions off, but I can't. Those are closed captions. Closed captions, you decide if you wanna see them or not. Open captions means that you they are built in the video, you cannot control them. So what we wanna do, we wanna use open captions always because most people simply aren't going to click on your video, but if there's some text that can catch their attention, then they are much more likely to, right? So what we can do first of all is that we're gonna go into edit video and then I'm gonna show you how you can add that, right? So click on edit video. And the first thing we have here in this video is that we can crop the video itself, which is great. We can use the original, the recommended, or 4.5, but this is already optimized, so I'm just gonna use the original here. Then we can trim the video. This is a very handy tool if your video would be much longer than it need to be for your recording or for whatever reason. So it's very simple, you drag it to where you want it to start, 
both in the beginning and you drag it to where you want it to end here at the end. And if you're happy with it, you click apply and then you have a trimmed video, all right? Now I'm very happy with this video, so I'm not gonna trim it. And then we have the thumbnail and the thumbnail is gonna be the way that it shows before it plays, right? Now you can either add one manually or you can keep it on automatic. Now for best practice, generally you wanna keep it on manual and you want to create the thumbnail for your video, right? So have someone on Fiverr design it for you or if you know how to design it yourself, then do that. That's a pretty good feature to have, but otherwise if you have none of that, you can still use automatic and then they are going to optimize the screen frame that they see has the highest result, all right? but I recommend going uh, using a thumbnail. Next up we have the text, the captions. Now if you upload an SRT file there are some benefits with this because that means that you can add in captions in multiple languages and that is fantastic. Now the bad news is that this tends to be closed captions meaning that they are either going to be turned on or off and that they can decide or that they have to activate them. So what I recommend instead is that we're going to use another option that is known as a text overlay because if you would add in a text overlay the captions become open captions and that means that the text is always going to show no matter what. Of course you're limited to one language uh, at that point but your success rate especially if you're anyway targeting much more efficiently is going to be much higher. Okay but before we move there we're gonna look at poll. Now the polls basically this is a sales tool and it's a pretty clever one as well. So that means you can add in a question and then you can add in two options. Now with those two options comes two URLs so you can choose which one of those you want to click on and then they're going to be taken to that part of the site. So an example would be which workout do you prefer and you might have two workout programs and then you have choice one workout A, workout B and then they're going to be taken to those individual workouts or you have two products side by side or let's say that you're selling a product that has different colors and this is a really good practice by the way and then you have a green one and a blue one and then you write in which color do you prefer and then they're going to click the blue one, they'll be taken to that landing page, they click the green one, they're going to be taken to that landing page. So some pretty clever things that you can do in here. Now let's move on to the text overlay. Now this is really cool, right? This is gonna be a little bit of work on your part, but this is well worth it unless you wanna hire someone to do it or do it in Adobe Premiere or iMovie, but honestly, you can just do it here. All right, so first of all, depending on your video, it's gonna depend on where you want the position to be. So if you have a lot of stuff going down, down uh, going on down here, you probably wanna put up the text up here. But most of the cases, you want to center it and you wanna put it in the bottom, just like this. And then you just write the captions. So the caption is gonna be something like, did you know that when blah, blah, blah. Uh, and the captions, of course, should mimic what it is that you're saying. So you need to listen to the video and then you want to time the text with the video. And if there's no speech on the video, well, then you're just going to have to make sure that the, that the text makes sense and actually add something to the video, right? Now, chances are if there's no speech, you probably didn't need this to begin with. But since you're saying something in the video, you want people to get, become interested and listen. So just make sure that you write down everything that you're saying here. And generally what you want to do, or that's most of the time going to fit best, is just have a two second space between each. So let's say that this is uh, the first two seconds. Then you click on add and you pull this all the way back. So this is from zero seconds to two seconds. This is going to be from two seconds to four seconds. And let's pretend that we were saying like, did you know that when you have a success story and then I'm going to click on add again. I'm going to pull it all the way back. So now it's four to six. Uh, most people are going to and then you just continue on right and you do that all the way until the video is completed now when it comes to video length there are two practices you could either go with an explanatory video that's gonna be over three minutes and those work great or you could have it short but sweet around 15 seconds right depends on what you're advertising for and what you're aiming for if you want to showcase a product don't keep it too long right Keep it short or 15 seconds. But if you have a service, if you're selling a course or if you're trying to get people to your YouTube channel, you want it to be educational, then keep it over three minutes. So best practice depends completely on what it is that you have to offer. Once you're done with this, you click on apply. And now suddenly you've added in your own open captions. Fantastic. Now we're going to cancel that. 
And then finally, we have a logo overlay. And a logo overlay is just the way it sounds. It is if you want to add in a logo or if you want to add in a product, just like this, and then decide on where you want to put it. Now, of course, it's going to make the most sense that we actually add in our own logo like this, should we see it fit. Now, it's not a bad idea. It's good for branding. Just make sure that it doesn't block anything. And in my opinion, keep it on small. I, I don't think it's a good idea to make it too large. I mean, it looks terrible. Unless you want to keep it at the end. But pretty good practice to do depending on your video is just to keep it throughout the video. Keep it small in one of the corners. All right. So once you're happy with it, you click apply, you click on save. And now you've improved your video. Very handy, right? And remember, these are for uploaded videos. So the next thing we can do if we're not uploading our own videos is simply that we create our own video. So to create our own video is very simple. We're going to click on create video right here and then move to the left and add in an image. And they're going to use those images and turn them into videos, right? So I'm going to click on add image here and let's just keep it simple. Let's just add in an, an image of our product just like this. And then to the bottom here, we can also add in our logo should we want to do that. So we're going to do that as well. There we go. And now we're going to get some examples. So scrolling down, what we can see here is that we're going to get a preview of all the different types of videos that they're creating for us. So this is pretty cool because this is going to show us kind of what, what kind of style that we want to have and give us plenty of options. Now, most of these are going to require at least one image. If you upload more, you're going to have some different results and some different options. Now, also be aware that if you scroll all the way up, there are two different options here that don't actually require any image. So you could just remove these just like that. And then you're going to see that they have stock images, but that's just going to be for these two. And if you don't like those specific stock images, well, that's too bad because you don't get access to the library, right? So that's a real pity. I'm just going to add that one back. So now we have this, we can decide if we want square or if we want vertical videos. That's going to be completely up to us. And it, of course, it's going, we, we're going to have to make sure that our images fit with the type of video that we're looking to create. But we're going to go with square, right? Because that's what it's mainly adapted to. We're going to scroll down a bit and see if we can find something we like. Now scrolling down, just before we get for the templates for two or more images, there's one here that's called uh, present at horizontal image. I think it looks cool. So I'm just going to click on it and then go down here. I don't know if my head is in the way, but it says customize. So I'm just going to play around a little bit with this. So there's a couple of things we can do here. Now, the first thing is that if you look to the right, we have the video here. You can see the way it's going to look frame by frame. It's going to start with the logo. This is going to pop up. It's going to zoom in with the shop now, the autumn collection, and then it's going to end with the logo again. Very basic, but also very much straight to the point. So the question is, of course, am I liking this crop? If I don't like this crop, I'm going to go to crop here and I'm going to change it. And perhaps I want to center it a little bit more. Let's do it like this and see if it has a different effect. There we go. So now it, this image is going to pop up a little bit more into the shop. Now, I like that. I think, I think that has a cooler effect. So I'm a big fan of that. Then text, do I want it to say shop now? Or do I want it to say, for example, a go to shop or buy now? Well, I could change that text. Let's say I want to say buy now. Well, then it's going to uh, say it like that or go to shop. Then we would say it like that. Now we can change the font. We can change the text color. Now it's white, fits with the background and also the background color of the text itself. So let's say if you want to have it something like this. I, I don't think that's a good design, but we could do it like that, right? I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. There we go. Scrolling down, we can also change the text. That is, that is this text. This is the autumn collection. We could call it the, the, the RNJ's deals collection. All right. There we go. And then we could change the text color or the background color. And then if we like this, we move on to scene number two. Scene number two, that is simply our logo. If we want to change it or if we want to remove it, we want to change the size maybe to a large one. I think that looks a little bit better in this case. Then we can add stickers. Me personally, I think they can look a little bit tacky. But of course, if you have the, the eye for design, you can probably make this look good. You know, you can use discount promotion, etc. You know, I'm not a good designer, so I usually leave that to someone who's a better designer than me. But if you, if you think it looks well, then add in the stickers and just make sure that it looks professional still, right? 
you can play with the sticker and then the position and everything and once you're done with this and you're happy with it you just go down here my head might be in the way but it says use video so I'm gonna click on use video and it's gonna take a couple of seconds for it to load and then there we go looking to the right we can now go ahead and we can click on this and see the way it's going to look in the preview all right so let's have a look we're gonna click on it boom there it is go to shop and then we have just set it up very cool right now of course we want to make sure that if they click on go to shop they're going to be taken to our shop so we're gonna put that url in here but you know that drill already you know how this works right because we already set this up before so we don't need to go through all of that again at this point you already know most of these functions what we're doing is that we're getting in more on the details and looking at the different variations that we can create and then of course expanding our knowledge so fantastic, this is how you create video ads. And remember, you can use the video format on most ads, just understand that they have a different impact than say image or carousel ads. And then remember, if you're gonna use a video, make sure that there are open captions on them. And if not, well, then you can use images still and use Facebook's template and still make very cool videos. All right, hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next lecture.